Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. You are watching for today. Two days before we uploaded the video how you can use Hulkan Graphics API as a default API for all your applications. Its link is available under the video description. Today we came with another completely new Hulkan drivers base for your device. It's called as Mesa Turnip Hulkan API drivers, which are the difference from the original drivers that comes with the device. Mesa Turnip is an open source driver that provides Vulkan support for the Qualcomm Adreno graphics hardware. It's a third party driver for the Adreno GPU that can be used as a replacement driver at runtime by illuminators using the Adreno tools. While Turnip Mesa can be installed as a system driver via Magix. So today we will give you the total information via this video. How you can flash this new Turnip Mesa latest version 24.1 built on the 16th March 2024. Please remember this will only work for the Android 13 and above versions. It will work for the Adreno 618 and above versions. It's tested and confirmed working over Snapdragon 695, 732G, 855, 860, 865, 870 and device I am using that is Poco X2 using the SD730. Please watch this video till the end for complete information about the drivers and their issues. Now without further ado, let's get started. A new adventure. A new adventure. This is my POCO X2 with the default Vulcan graphics version as 512.502. This device using the Adorno 618 version. Now let's check out how to install these drivers. Your device must be rooted with the Magix or the kernel SU. Now download the model zip from the link given under the video description. As I told in the intro of the video, these drivers are working for the Adreno 618 and the above versions. Another requirement is that your device must be running on the Android 13 or above versions. You can also download the GPU cache cleaner if you are using the TWRP. Now flash the module via Magix Manager or the Kernel Zoo Manager and reboot the device. You can also flash over the last video module to forcefully enable the Vulkan API as a default API for all your applications including the games, graphics UI etc. But I will not recommend you to use this with the POCO X2. It may cause some issue with the POCO X2 and may also cause the issue with the other devices. I will discuss that issue in the detail at the end of the video. If you didn't use this module, your device will use the Vulkan API as per the requirements of the application. Once the device reboots back, you can check the Vulkan Capsule application to check your Vulkan graphics drivers are updated or not. After updating the drivers, you will see the device name is showing as a Turnip Adorno 618. While previously it's showing the normal Adorno 618 only. Drive version is 24.0.99. While with the old drivers, it was the same as OpenJ version like 512.502. Remember, these other drivers are only for the updating your Vulkan API drivers. So if you check the OpenGL drivers, it will still show you the old drive version as OpenGL 3.2 version at the rate 502. Flashing these drivers will definitely improve your device gaming performance. If you are using the Vulkan as a default API, it will also help to improve the graphics view of the operating system because these drivers are intended for the superior performance and the graphics UI of the gaming devices only. But remember, these drivers may or may not work for the all the devices as I mentioned earlier. Sometimes it may cause issue to boot your device. In such case, you have to first flash the GPU cache cleaner via recovery. Still, if your device goes into the boot loop, then you can use another method to disable this Magix module. Its video tutorial link is available under the video description. Another issue it may cause for the older devices like my Poco X2. If you use our last video module to enable the Vulkan as a default API, for my POCO X2 device got successfully booted after flashing this second module but later my device only showing the blast screen and rebooting into the bootloop mode. This issue can also be solved by the solution that I previously mentioned. So basically these are the powerful siblings for the Adron Vulcan drivers which will give your GPU more power and the excellent graphics UI. 
as compared to the default adorno hull contrivers so that's it for today guys hope you liked my work then please do like and share this video subscribe our channel press the bell icon for the notifications of such amazing mod content to update the snapdragon gpu drivers thanks for watching see you next time take care bye bye